Hey guys, here we are in Roger City, like I promised we would be. Uh, I'm Ken Two. This is Ken Three. Ken Three, and we are going to do a little kayaking. He's going to do a little fishing of his own kind with an actual fishing pole. You can see it there. I am going to do a little fishing with a rock scoop, and we're going to see what we can find. We'll see if I can catch more than he can. I don't know how much good stuff I'm going to find today. Lake is a little cloudier than it was yesterday. We had a heck of a wind come in yesterday, so it probably stirred up the bottom. And while the lake is calmer now, I can't see the bottom. <sighs> that might be a problem. You might catch more fish than I do. Rocks. Where do you want to go? You want to go all the way there? Sure. All right. something I just pull up a piece of limestone so much scuzz on the bottom I can't tell the rocks apart from each other I'm gonna go try going up to that point tight again you can stay here I mean float back towards the but I'm gonna go up there and see if I can get the see if the rocks are different you know if there's no scuzz like there was last year last October Maybe? <laughs> uh. 
that's been lifted so that I can see the truth has been gifted to set up. I saw a fossil of a piece of coral over there. That big around. It's in a huge piece of limestone. I mean, it's not like we're taking it home or anything, but 
it was something else. I was like, holy cow. Yeah. Uh, it was over near the beach. And over yonder, it was, there was another fossil up by the, just out of the water, so it's not that hard to find. And I think it was just about near the end of that break wall there. But you'll see the, like a, almost looks like a fish fossil in the wall. And then there's a, in the water, you'll see like a giant horn coral or something. Let's see if I can spot it again now. Yeah, there it is. That right there in that corner there, right at the end of the break wall. You see it? In the water there is what you're interested in, water right in front of it. So, if, I mean, directly in front of it. Like, you'll have to kayak up there, like that, you see that piece of cement? Just above the piece of cement, there's a uh, piece of limestone that has a fossil in it. That looks like quartz. Isn't that huge? Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's like the perfect little specimen. Piece of limestone's huge though. <laughs> Might be pretty flat though too. I don't know. Limestone gets kind of weird. But I tend to follow the driftwood rule. If you can pick it up, it's driftwood. If you have to dig it out, it's in habitat, so you leave it alone. Yeah, it's habitat. <laughs> you leave it there. <laughs> I only found one pudding stone. There's kind of a pudding stone, but not really. It's got one fleck of feldspar in it. That's about it. If I had Melinda here, she'd be... Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. I found a lot of Gogonzas. But... Which are... Look at this one. Look at all the feldspar in that basalt. That's cute. Huh. This is a fossil with worms on it. There's a couple little fossils. Yeah? Oh, oh. I'm gonna pull it closer. Oh, yeah, there's a little horn coral on the end. Yeah, and there's some. Oh, yeah, and some along here. Thumb. Yep, and there's one right and here. There's one at the tip. Oh, yeah, one at the tip, too. That's pretty cool. Oh, on it. <laughs> You want it? All right, you got it. That like might be it. Jasper. I want it. I like it. I see it. I want it. I got it. Yep, a little piece of Jasper quartz. That's cool. And then I saw another Gogonza here. I just floated over the top of it, I think. Where'd it go? I saw I know I did. Oh, there it is. I drifted away from it. Gogonza. There's one. <laughs> They're everywhere over here. That's the one thing Melinda and I was like, what is this stone? We didn't know what it was last time we were here and got home and I was watching a video by Michigan Rocks and How'd you do fishing? Awful. It almost looks like blacktop, doesn't it? Which one do I want to keep? Hmm. Or I just keep both because I can. I think that's a piece of it too. Oh yeah. Yep. Good eye. There's a lot of orange in it, doesn't it? I think I'll keep the two I've got though. If I were to choose. I don't need a ton of it. I gotta see if it sells first. Oh, here you go. Nice piece of limestone with fossil attached. Is that a fossil? I believe that is. I believe that all is right there. The white lines are. Might be calcite though, I don't know. 
But calcite and limes or fossils are pretty much. There's a dude rock. Looks like it might be a piece of dirt. piece of chert, but oh yeah. I, I found another piece of that. That's in my boat. Nice. Do I want that shirt? Not really. Oh, I can probably live that anyway. It's not gonna sell. It's, uh, I like it though. It'll be one of those rocks I get home and I'll be like, why did I pick that up? What in the world? What's going on there? That's crazy. It's a cool rock. not even the most common element on earth <laughs> or mineral on earth <laughs> That's some pretty cool quartz though. It's got some cool lines in it basalt and quartz Oh, almost had it. Put in stone dad. Yeah. I do believe that pudding stone is most commonly referred to as cement. Check it out. This thing's so cool. This thing's pretty cool too, but. Yeah. Ugh. Now I'm drifting by. Oh, yeah. Nice piece of coral. Jasper. Yep. Jasper. Ooh, 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 ooh. I might pull a jack sparrow on the way home. What's that? Opening scene of, you know how he's like sinking, going. Oh, <laughs> right. With all the rocks on board? Yeah. There you go, kid. Fossil? He has a pudding. The stuff. whole thing. That's cool. And I just found you a pudding stone. Oh. It might be concrete, but... Oh, it's being a pudding stone. It's basalt instead of quartz, but it's a pudding stone. Well, not technically. A pudding stone is all quartz. Most rock of quartz. Ooh, I love these. These are so cool. I love these stones. Isn't that cool? It's like totally dude rock. It's a total dude rock, but it's so cool. It is really cool. I keep seeing this rock and thinking it's a fossil. <laughs> it, yeah, it's a vesicular uh, limestone, I think. 
something along that line. Like same as this. Like this might have been the back side of coral and it broke off or something. Wait a minute. <laughs> the shape caught me. There you go. Oh, am I keeping that one or is that one? Sure, if you want it. Otherwise, I'll you I'll probably slice it. it and see what I can find inside oh, that it. That one's. See it? Oh yeah. Look like it. It looked like it underwater, but it's not. Ooh, there's a pudding stone. Maybe. Wait, that's a type of pudding stone too? Yeah, you see how the Jasper's trapped in it? Yeah. The mica right there. Huh. That's a pudding stone. Not a very good one, but it's a pudding stone. Oh. Alright, well we had a good hunt and uh I don't know. Maybe we'll show you what we caught. <laughs> Definitely show you what my son's found. We, we caught a lot more rocks and fish, let's just say that. <laughs> yeah, we definitely won on the rocks, not the fish. <laughs> but uh, we had a lot of fun out here. It's been a great day, but the lake is flat. It's hard to believe we're on a great lake. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to tumbling this up and shaping them up and turn them into jewelry. And we'll take you along all the journey on that. So we'll talk to you next time. Bye.